Hello friends and welcome to this EMR rounds and in last EMR rounds we discussed about our patient who is a 66 year old male presenting to us with complaints of right eye defective vision for the past 6 months. Okay, And the patient was diagnosed to have right eye pseudophagic bullous keratopathy. Why? Because the patient had microcystic epithelial edema and there were epithelial bullae were noted. And why the patient underwent PBK? Why the patient landed up with this corneal disease? Because he had a secondary IOL placed, probable because of a chronic inflammation, probable vitreous in AC has led to this condition. But incidentally, I looked at the left eye and on left eye, he underwent IOL surgery again. There was PC IOL. But more importantly, on the cornea, there was corneal gutta. There are multiple corneal gutta noted, such as to offer Fuchs endothelial corneal dystrophy. So what is Fuchs endothelial corneal dystrophy. The IC3D, International Committee for Classification of Corneal Dystrophies, gives this very recent update, modified anatomical classification. Epithelial subepithelial dystrophies, epithelial stromal dystrophies, stromal dystrophies and endothelial dystrophies. Please pause the video and take a screenshot of this very very important classification. Our concern is going to be the three endothelial dystrophies. Fuchs, Posterior polymorphous corneal dystrophy, that is PPCD or PPMD, congenital hereditary endothelial dystrophy. So, differentiating these three again, very important table. Pause the video and take a screenshot. Fuchs can present in both early and late. Early is at 10 years, late is at 40 years. Except for Fuchs, the other two are going to happen in young age. All the three of them are bilateral, all the three of them are going to be autosomal dominant. Fuchs has F for F has a slight female preponderance is going to be there. Fuchs is characterized by gutte, whereas PPM is going to be characterized by vesicles, bands and plaques on the decimate membrane. Uh, shed is going to be one of the differential diagnosis for a congenital corneal opacity. Okay, very important, which means the entire cornea is going to be opacified. You cannot visualize the endothelium. Very, very important. So we all talk about gutte, gutte. What is exactly a gutte? Gutte is the plural form. Gutta is going to be the singular. Gutta means a dew drop. Gutta means a dew drop. D for D. Dew drops on decimates membrane. To be more precise, the classical teaching is they are nothing but small excrescences noted on the decimates membrane. Okay, so this is going to be the pathophysiology. This is the normal cornea. Uh, normal endothelium and this is going to be the decimate membrane. Decimate membrane has two parts. You have an anterior banded decimate membrane, posterior non-banded decimate membrane. So what happens is that whenever the decimate membrane is going to be abnormal, uh, either in terms of quality as well as in terms of quantity, a reduction of endothelium or an abnormal endothelial cells are going to secrete the focal collagen accumulations. They're going to secrete some extra materials, their extracellular matrix or collagen deposits noted on the decimate membrane and they can happen on the endothelium as well. And this is what you call as gutta or gutte. Okay, very, very important. This is a scanning electron microscope picture showing the multiple excrescences, multiple deposits on the endothelium. So there are four stages of Fuchs dystrophy. Stage 1 is going to be only gutte. The gutte will be in the central, slowly going to the periphery, giving this beaten metal appearance of the endothelium. We will look at the pictures in a moment. Second is going to be, as the gutte is going to spread, there is going to be endothelial decompensation. Endothelium will fail to uh, prevent the entry of water into the cornea. So endothelium has lost its function. So what happens? The stroma becomes edematous the DM becomes thickened. So as the stroma becomes edematous, as the endothelium is going to get decompensated, it's going to be stage 2. And as the edema, as the water uh, inflow progresses from the endothelium to the epithelium, there is going to be formation of epithelial bullae, what we call as a bullous keratopathy. This bulla can rupture, exposing the nerve endings, causing severe pain, especially in the morning when the patient wakes up. Also, the central corneal thickness is going to be increased to 1000, whereas the normal is going to be only 500 microns. In uh, Fuchs stage 3, the CCT is going to be 1000 microns. The fourth stage is the end stage disease, 
which is characterized by subepithelial fibrosis, scarring and peripheral superficial vascularization causing an irreversible defective vision. This is a picture showing the typical copper beaten appearance on the cornea or the metal beaten appearance of the cornea. You can always appreciate Fuchs gutta very well in retro elimination. So please always look at the gutta on retro elimination. You will not miss it. And this is going to be the stage where you have epithelial bulla and microcystic epithelial edema noted. And when this bulla ruptures, it can cause severe pain for the patient. So this is the ruptured bulla. Okay. And you can clearly see in this histopathological picture showing the subepithelial bulla. The epithelium is going to get separated from the underlying Bowman's membrane. Okay. There are basically two variants like we discussed some time back. The early onset, late onset. Early onset, 10 years, less age, smaller gutte. Late onset, larger age, 40 years, larger gutte. One useful investigation is going to be use of specular microscopy which is going to assess the endothelial cells. The normal endothelium is going to be hexagon in shape. It's going to be hexagon. I've drawn a pentagon, I think. It's a hexagon in shape. And the normal cell count is approximately 2500 cells per mm squared in adults. When it goes less than 600, corneal edema is going to set in. Two important pathological variations happening in the endothelial cell is going to be pleomorphism and polymegathism. Pleomorphism is abnormal shape. Polymegathism happens when one endothelium cell is lost, the other endothelium cell is going to enlarge in size to occupy that space. That is called as polymegathism, the enlarging, abnormal enlargement of the endothelial cells. And you can see these dark spots, they are nothing but the gutte in Fuchs endothelial corneal dystrophy. As far as treatment is concerned, treat the associated cataract. If there is going to be cataract for the patient, always give a dispersive viscoelastic. That is going to be the take home message. Please protect the corneal endothelium by giving a dispersed viscoelastic, which is going to coat to the endothelium. It's going to protect against the surgical trauma. As far as the corneal pathology is concerned, you have medical management, you have surgical management. Medical management, you can give, you can start with by giving hypertonic saline, sodium chloride 5% solution. You can give four times a day. You can give an ointment at night also. That is going to extract the water out of cornea. Secondly, beta blockers. Whenever the patient is going to have rise in IOP, you can give beta blockers. BCL, bandage contact lens can be given whenever there is going to be a ruptured bullet exposing the nerve endings. So you can give BCL to relieve the pain. Also, when there is going to be a large epithelial defect present. When there is going to be more pain, you can give cycloplegic and to prevent secondary infections, you can also add antibiotics. As far as surgeries are concerned, remember the ABCD mnemonic as we discussed in PBK. A for amniotic membrane graft, B for Bowman's cautery, especially in very painful advanced bullous keratopathy. C for conjunctival flap of Gunderson, conjunctival flap of Gunderson. D for DSEC, DMEC, PKP, all these are nothing but corneal transplant. So the current surgical treatment of choice is endothelial keratoplasty which comprises of DSEC and DMEC. See, Fuchs is going to be an endothelial disease. Previously, long time back, they used to have full thickness penetrating keratoplasty. Nowadays, not required. Only the endothelium is diseased. So, you just replace the endothelium with a healthy endothelium. That's why we give a decimate stripping automated endothelial keratoplasty. Recently, people have started doing decimate membrane endothelial keratoplasty. So, DSEC, DMEC, current surgeries of choice. Very, very important. Don't forget. So don't forget about Fuchs, always look for Gatte, the take home messages when there's going to be cataract, give enough viscoelastic to coat the endothelium when you operate the patient. So thanks a lot for listening. Cheers. Bye-bye.